to do before nursing school starts. I know you're wondering. <laughs> After this video, you'll know exactly what to do to set yourself up for massive success when your new term starts. Now, I know you want to get prepared for nursing school, but you don't want to waste your time on things that don't matter, right? So I'll tell you exactly what to study and what to get done before nursing school starts. I have a lot of great tips to share with you in this video, <laughs> a lot. So be sure to stay until the end so you don't miss any of them. Now hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Let's dive in. So you've heard the rumors, right? Nursing school is the worst. Nursing school is too hard. Nursing school is impossible. Nursing school is, insert whatever negative thing here. But here's the deal, my friend, you can do this. Do not let the rumor mill get you down or freak you out. You are going to do great and you are going to pass. So don't worry, I've got you. It just takes some planning, some solid study strategies and dedication, and you can do this. So now that we got that out of the way, and <laughs> you can stop stressing about it, uh, let's walk through the things that you actually have to do to make it all happen and set yourself up for success. The first thing I recommend you do is to start getting organized, <laughs> start getting your life organized. There's three main areas to focus on here. Relationships, like your family and friends, getting your house in order, like your literal house, <laughs> and meal planning. So let's talk about what to do with each of these. And you might wanna save this video for later so you can keep this list and just check things off <laughs> one by one as you do them. That will probably be the most helpful for you. So first things first, you will need to have some important conversations with your friends and your family. Now set realistic expectations about how much time you'll have to do things like household chores, cooking, date nights, or other activities. Now nursing school is totally doable, don't worry, but it does take up a lot of time. So be sure to set realistic expectations with the people around you so there isn't as much shock when you're suddenly not around as much. You'll also want to plan for childcare if you have kids. And when I say childcare, I mean plan for childcare and then plan for backup childcare if the first one falls through and then a backup to the backup in case the second one falls through. Seriously, you do not want to be headed out for a 12 hour clinical day and get a phone call from your childcare provider saying that you're, they're not able to watch your kiddo that day. Yikes, <laughs> that'd be rough. So have a backup and then have a backup for your backup, just in case. And as much as you can, <laughs> this is silly, but I recommend it highly, deep clean your house. Because to be honest, it might be the last time that you deep clean your house in a while. Uh, wash the baseboards, dust the ceiling fan, scrub out the toilets real good. <laughs> Just get it as ready as possible because those things might be neglected for a while. <laughs> It's okay, it happens. Uh, just plan to do as much deep cleaning as possible <laughs> before nursing school term starts. And finally, meal planning. Uh, this doesn't need to be anything Pinterest fancy or anything. Just make a list of breakfast, lunches, and dinners that you cook and eat most often, and then make a list of the ingredients that are needed for those recipes. That way, when you're planning what you want to eat for the week, you can just refer to that list and it's all there for you. No additional brain power needed. <laughs> because here's another little funny thing about nursing school. Your brain is going to be full of stuff. <laughs> it's nice to just have everything else in your life as automated as possible so that you don't have to think about it too much. That will help a lot. Now, probably the single most important thing that you can do before starting nursing school is to practice dose calc. Now, I know, <laughs> I know that I've said it before. <laughs> I've said it a gazillion times. I'll put videos up around here. Uh, it's the most important thing that you need to focus on before nursing school because it's also... <laughs> <laughs> the one that most nursing students put off. But here's the thing, within the first two weeks of your nursing program and most often every term after that, you will have a dosage calculations exam. And most nursing schools require that you get 100% on it or 
you get kicked out of the program. Now, thankfully, most schools allow retakes, so don't freak out too much about it, but definitely take it seriously because dosage calculations are really, really, really important to know. And don't worry, I have a simple six-step process that walks you through how to ace dose calc literally step by step, and it's foolproof. When you follow these steps, you will get every single dose calc question right. So please watch this video right after this video, and I will help you become a master at dose calc. You'll also want to check out our dose calc nursing school box that has a full workbook, flashcards, and other goodies for you to help you become a rock star at dose calc. Now the link is down below for you to check that out. You are going to love it. Don't worry, friend, the vast majority of nursing students pass the dose calc exam. Just follow our six step process, do the practice questions and the workbook from the dose calc box. There's over a hundred of them. Do any practice questions that your school gives you and just practice, practice, practice. You'll get more and more confident and you will pass. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now, the third thing you'll need to do is make a plan. <laughs> now, how does that phrase go again? The more you plan, the more time you save, the more time you spend on planning, you actually gain back that time. I don't know, something like that. You get the idea. Now, I always used to think that planning was such a waste of time. Why would I spend an hour planning something <laughs> out when I could just start doing the thing and get it done faster? That's what I always thought. My mistake. Now, after doing it that way over and over again, basically my entire life, I finally realized that I can actually save time by planning out what I need to do first. So I don't have to fumble through it or correct my mistakes as I go or redo it. Now, so helpful. <laughs> so here's three things that you'll want to do before nursing school starts when it comes to making a plan. Number one, get a planner. Now, this sounds obvious, <laughs> I know, but I just wanted to make sure that you didn't forget and make sure that whatever planner that you get will allow you to break down your schedule hour by hour. I've talked about how important this is in this video and in this video. Quick summary though, it's really important to do this in nursing school. It will help you stay on track and not waste time. Now, of course, the planner I recommend is the nursing school planner from our nursing school planner box. Box. Now it's beautiful and this box has everything you need to plan your time like a pro in nursing school. Not only does it come with the planner itself, but we actually include the hour by hour schedule on a large notepad. So you can use one per day, tear it off, keep it with you and mark things off as you go. It's the best system, I'm telling you, game changing. So be sure to check that out. The link to all of our nursing school boxes is down below in the description box. Now, after you get your, your planner, the next thing you'll want to do is to go through your class syllabus, specifically looking at the first two weeks of the term. So you wanna see when your exams are, when the assignments are due, what projects are assigned, and when your clinicals and your skills lab days are. And write all of this down in your planner, of course. Going through the class syllabus is critical to help you know what's coming up. And I always recommend focusing on the first two weeks of the term or else you might just get overwhelmed with everything that you need to do. So just stick with planning out for the first two weeks. But with that, if there's a large project that's due say week six or something, you'll still want to get a jump start on that within the first two weeks. So just be mindful of those longer term things too. So go through your class syllabus and write all of the important due dates and the things down that are really important in your planner. And then after you've done that, you can create your study schedule. So once you have all of those dates down in your planner, you'll be more clearly able to see how loaded each day and week are. So let's say you have a long clinical day on Thursday. <laughs> because of that, you probably wouldn't want to schedule study time because you are gonna be too tired. But if you notice that you have a three hour lecture on one day, that's probably a great day to schedule some study time in. 
You see what I mean? So once you have everything done in your planner, you'll be able to roughly plan out when you can study. And if you want a deep dive on how to use your nursing school planner, be sure to check this video out because I go into a lot more detail about how to plan your time in nursing school and I walk you through how to do it step by step. And remember friends, there are three ways that I can help you more through nursing school. Number one, download this free cheat sheet that walks you through step by step how to ace dose calc. Don't miss that. It's going to be so helpful for you. And be sure to check out our nursing school boxes that we have available for you. They are packed with resources to help you succeed in nursing school. You're going to love it. And of course, if you want me to hold your hand throughout your nursing school journey, you know that's exactly what I'm here for. Do not miss out on joining the Nursing SOS membership community. It is filled with step-by-step -step nursing school lessons lectures to help you understand everything faster so you'll be more prepared for your nursing school exams. Now the links to all of those things are in the description box below. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment below to let me know you loved it, share it with a nursing school friend, and of course click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And click on one of these videos right over here so you can keep rocking nursing school. And as always my friend, go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I'll catch you next time on the nursing school show. Take care. Bye-bye.